All right, welcome to Barbarak. Uh, after a slight detour last time due to uh, my holiday, uh, I kind of published something unrelated. This time we are going to continue uh, working on this super tube screamer. And uh, just as a reminder where we are at, here we are. Right, okay, this was the detour. Now, last time we covered tone control. Uh, as you can see, we've ended up, we've ended up with how many options for our 18 options. Uh, so, with Tone knob as well. Have a look at previous video. Uh, again, as usual, I'll I'll uh, put a link to the videos and to the accompanying uh, schematic and, and everything else uh, in the description of the video. Uh, but for for this time, I'm kind of a, going to cover. I'm going to add two more uh, options to the. Um, schematic to the, the circuit and with that you know that that's like really two more switches which is four more options uh, combined so that brings us to 72 options for a circus and well that's way too much I know uh, there is no uh, there's not going to be any meaningful way to try them all you know but that's what we have as a slight side note I came across uh, this the other day uh, Ardu, I think, well, uh, if I pronounce that correctly, is a project, a street art project in, in Cork, uh, here locally, and look what I came across the other day, one of the murals there, on one of the, uh, one of the uh, house, one of the street art is actually Kleena there. Uh, have a look at that. It's a beautiful uh, art project, so make sure you have a look at that. Uh, but that, that's a side note. Let's move on to, uh, to what we are here for. So let's go through the schematics. So this is like fourth installment of this. Um, uh, I added two switches here. Uh, if, if you remember way back, I, I covered uh, a bit about BOSS SD1 Super Overdrive. And uh, uh, one of the principal differences between uh, that and Tube Screamer was um, Super Overdrive had has more gain. So I just kind of replicated this. It has twice as much gain uh, when you, but I'll get into details of that. Uh, and, and here I uh, added, I call it base boost, uh, but it, it's really a sort of a take on, uh, if, if you remember, I covered Zach Wilde's uh, uh, overdrive and there's a secret mod, GTOD, uh, MXR's GTOD, which kind of lifts uh, base a bit. Not entirely, but you know, uh, you'll hear in demo. So, if, but let me zoom in. Uh, can I zoom in to this? Yeah. So, here I added um, a switch for gain boost. So when it's open, uh, we get extra boost. It's it's uh, it effectively doubles the boost for um, uh, the pedal. The, doubles the gain for the pedal. And when it's closed, the switch over kind of a jumps over the or shortens the uh, resistor, and and we keep the same boost as before, uh, similarly to what we have, what Tube Screamer does. Uh, essentially, um, this gives us option to to control uh, level of boost. Um, when it's that this gives us a range from ten to all the way 210 times boost, which is in dBs, it's 
20 to 46.5 dBs. So it's a quite a, a large scale. Um, just so we get a bit more kind of a uh, clipping similarly to what um, SD1 would have uh, at, at, you know, once you pass half the gain rotation. If I zoom into this base boost, it, it's, it's similar to, as I said, Zach Wilde's or GTOD MXR's uh, mod, that just kind of a When tone knob goes past half the, it, it gives us boost. Uh, overall, uh, it, it's kind of a twice uh, boost the signal two times, I suppose. Uh, but really, what it it, it really does uh, when you turn the knob uh, tone knob on uh, past half way, uh, it you can notice uh, bass well, lower frequencies are contributing a bit more. Uh, and we'll, we'll hear that um, uh, later on in, in demo. Now, we can skip straight to demo, but uh, I wanted to finalize this um, design so I can, I can uh, assemble it next time. So what I uh, decided to do, I was thinking about this. So I'm gonna demo these two options uh, later on. Uh, but look at this, I, I was kind of looking at uh, which switches to use and I have three uh, position switch. This is a single pole, triple uh, throw. But when it gets to the point where, you know, I need to put all these switches in, it's like, I, I believe two, two switches like this, plus a few, uh, toggle switches, that, that just takes too much space on the pedal. So I said, well, why not? I have some dip switches around, so maybe I, I could use two dip switches instead. So uh, so I slightly altered the, the circuit just to accommodate for this. So look at here. It's not, it's exactly the same for this, for most of the part, uh, by addition of, of, by having two dip switches, it's really, gives us 256 uh, options, you know, so that's way too much. But again, I just kind of did a bit clever way of reorganizing this uh, uh, part here. So I don't need to use three position switch. This gives us, so let me just go into it. If, if, if I look at here, if you remember, we had three options, uh, Tube Screamer, standard like, uh, uh, this uh, kind of a tone shaping part of the um, gain or clipping section. Uh, we had flat option and rat like option. So if I keep everything open here, it gives me the same very, it gives me nearly the same as a Tube Screamer. Uh, here I don't have 1K, it's like 980 uh, ohms but that's really negligible difference. Uh, if I connect just this one, I have flat boost. If I uh, turn on just, just these two, I get rat-like uh, options. So, but this gives me eight actually options. They're not all that uh, maybe great, but you know, gives us uh, those three are supported that we already covered in previous uh, videos. Uh, here, I kind of uh, rearrange this section a bit. So instead of having, I believe, six diodes, now I have two, and instead of three uh, position switch, I have two separate switches for uh, controlling this. So if uh, both are closed, we get this one is short, shorted, the other one is shorted. So we get um, symmetric clipping with one diode on each side. If they're both open, we get symmetric clipping with two diodes. And uh, if we, if we, only one of them is, is closed, then we get asymmetric clipping. Now, doesn't really matter for asymmetric clipping which one you close. So that really doesn't mean we have 256 options. We really have it comes down 
the maths tells me 192, I think. Doesn't really matter. It's way too much anyway. Uh, and here is the same as uh, I covered earlier, just for the boost, gain boost, on and off. Uh, that's it. And for tone, uh, that leaves me just two extra dip switches here. We have everything covered then uh, with two dip switches. It just takes up less time. Now, if we think about it for a uh, long term, once I, I do this prototype, this is just for prototype. So once I play with it and I, I, I get used to the pedal and I try different sounds, I might just think this all this is just rubbish and uh, I don't like it. So I might rip out some of these ones, uh, but for prototype, I think it's going to be great. Uh, one more thing, I kind of, uh, one thing to think about as well is how do we want to organize this uh, with two dip, two four time dip switches. I don't know how, how to express that, but anyway, uh, if there are two switches to so switch two, at least in my schematic, I, I probably have. Oh yeah, my switch one is going to be stomp switch anyway. Uh, switch two, you see, it's here, and three switches here. So that switch two, if they're all open, gives us default uh, option for tube screamer, and then switch three, these three, and this fourth one are closed. That gives us again as close as possible to tube screamer sound. So that was the goal. So I can have them, I, I would kind of uh, flip this 180 degrees so they would all be in the same position for default magnet. And we go with that and see how that goes. And then everything else is kind of a flavor of that uh, bass sound. So just a note on that. Let's go, oh, that was too much talking. Let's do a demo. I cheated, I cheated. I, I kind of recorded the, all the, I kept the recordings from the previous one uh, on my looper, but this just puts pressure, more pressure on me for next time when I have this assembled to do proper nice one uh, uh, with lots of different voicings of the pedal, proper demo. Uh, and, you know, we'll see how that goes. But listen to this, it's going to be short. Hopefully you like it.
There you have it. So for next time, it's going to be way more interesting demo, and uh, I'll do the assembly, and we'll see how that uh, comes together. Until then. <laughs>